Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 38 of Wonderful Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Now see, the big question is, is this going to make me cry, like, last like that? I don't know. Also, I do have a guest with me. Oh. Huh? Oh. Emoji? Oh, this is going to hit home. Oh my god. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Oh god. No. 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 I, I don't want this. Ugh. I can already feel myself tearing up. Oh! She got out.
Nothing. I like that for dogs, really just pets in general. Can we not think about that? I don't even want to think about that. That's like so... Mm. On a little trip. Don't cry in front of her. Wait, what do you say to do, Mary? Kind of. <laughs> Go. Oh, these big right. Good luck. Good luck with this recording. Okay. I'll be up in a day, okay? Bye. I'll call you back. Mm hmm. Bye. Bye. I can't even forget about the new freaking I can't. <laughs> it's too much.
I'm not crying anymore, Shell. I really don't. I don't. I'm, I'm, four weeks. Four weeks in a row with this show, and I've cried several different times. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to cry anymore. I, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I, I don't think I have any more tears in me left to cry unless i have like a breakdown or somebody yells at me like really bad <laughs> Is it a ferret or, or something? It looks like one, basically. Okay.
okay Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Right? <laughs> no! Everybody good now? We all okay? No more crying. <laughs> we okay now? Everybody good? Yeah?
We okay? Okay, all right. Week four. Let's not go into week five because I think next week's a Halloween episode. So <laughs> Let, let's take a break on crying, please, because I don't want to cry anymore. It's only going to be the end of this series. Okay. This, in a, in a way, this hit home, but I feel like mainly for anyone who adopts a dog or a cat or anybody from somebody else because it, it's always sad. Um due to any reason of why someone has to, you know, abandon a pet and such. Um, like I, I always tell this story, the day that I brought Cody home with my mom was like the best day because like after, you yeah. know, thank you. Um, <laughs> after losing both Yana and Kiana and being alone in a new environment, and in a new place, like, new house, everything, um, and not seeing or hearing them, like, you know, the little, like, it, it's always the little things about pets, like, the pitter-patters of their feet, um, hearing their collar, you know, move. We're going to talk about that too. Um, the pitter powder of the feet, the hearing of their collar, you know, the, their little, their name tag walking, uh, going back and forth when they're walking around, like small things, hearing them eat, hearing them drink, um, them crying for oh so reason, barking for oh so reason, whatever, meowing, doing something to like alert you that they're near and they're around you and such. Um, when, when both Yana and Kiana passed away, especially because Kiana, Kiana passed away around my mom's birthday and Yana passed away like a month later, um, almost two after we had to move from my house to what I like to call my internal hell um, and such. Um, it felt weird because remember at that time, like I was still doing this and stuff and I didn't have like an actual like, well, this was my job, but I didn't have an actual job job yet. Um, and so being home alone when she went to work, I sometimes I cried because I truly, truly, truly felt alone and that nobody was going to be like around me or near me or anything and such. And so... When I got Cody, <laughs> oh, I kept that dog. <laughs> I will admit it. I admitted it time and time again that I literally, like, <laughs> kept that dog for two weeks under my wing before I let my mom ha handle Cody. Um, but now, like, having, I love having Cody around. And, like, I've, I've said it so many times. Cody literally looks like Yanni and Kiana. He, he literally looks like them, except, you know, the difference is Yanni and Kiana were brown and black, and Cody is white and a little bit of blonde in him. Um, but he acts so much like both of them that, once again, my mom and I like to say our own little canonized thing is that all three of them are in this one little tiny body, and he's just going, and the, all three of them are just doing their own special thing. They're having conversations in there and being like, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, and so freaking cute. Um... And such but I definitely get it like uh the funny thing was I, there was another dog I used to babysit her name was Gigi and Gigi like got attached to me and my mom oh so quickly anytime like if she ran away from home nine out of ten she would just come to my house and she would just stay at the house for a couple hours and then I take her home well um the family who had Gigi gave her away to one of their family friends and so a couple of years later um the lady came with Gigi to visit them and so, you know how, like, just with this episode, Komogi, you know, remembering her previous owner and such, um, Gigi, when I called her and such, because she got a lot bigger, she, mind you, this was a little teeny tiny dog, and this dog got big, and so, still cute and adorable and such, but I was like, Gigi, come here, and, like, she instantly recognized my voice, my smell, everything, and that's the one thing that you love about dogs, like, they may ne never really almost remember you, but they'll remember, like, 
little things the call the smell whatever and be like oh my god like I, I know who you are oh my god I know your face please shut up um and it's like that and that's with Cody like I felt like if I had Cody stay at my aunt uncle house for like maybe a day or a week or so and such or if he went somewhere and I say hey I'm gonna come back and get you like that that dog would be traumatized no number one because Cody has anxiety in a weird way I have it too with him because we've already talked about the girls trip from hell I'm not gonna really talk about that again but this was a really probably the best episode for Komogi and Roja because of the fact this was something once again a long time coming because we all knew it was coming we just weren't ready for it me but now that it was here I was just like how are we going to do this how is this gonna go and it really went out swell just no more sad episodes please no more I don't want any more I don't want to cry anymore okay let me let me cry for all my other shows please and thank you I'm not crying anymore when it comes to pretty here until we get to the next season that's it maybe once we get to the last episode like I did last year with Hirogato Sky but as of right now I'm not crying anymore don't make me cry okay <laughs> even him who is on the phone with me he's over here are you watching a sad anime kind of are you okay? No. <laughs> He's so sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about him, okay? <laughs> Cause I know some of y'all like mm -hmm, I know one of y'all are gonna direct message me on Twitter and be like, so you wanna talk about him? I don't wanna talk about him. <laughs> Keeping it to me, myself, and I. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 38 of Wonderful Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, excuse me. Subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all either next Saturday or Sunday. Probably Saturday night because, like, I do have to work Saturday, but I'm not off. I'm off Sunday. So probably Saturday, whenever. For episode 39, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.